This is a free Dolly 3 image generator that you use with your own API key. So I built this tool for you guys, it took about two hours. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I made it. I'm gonna show you how to use it, how to access it. We're gonna walk through all of these features. I'll tell you the benefits of using this tool. I'll show how it was built in the back end and potentially how much money you could save if you use this. Let's get started. The idea spurred from this comment on one of my videos. Viewer XIMPJEH, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. He wrote that considering Playground is a better option for me. And in previous videos, I've been trying to convince people to use the OpenAI Playground instead of ChatGPT. Uh, this person wants to use the Playground more and quit the ChatGPT UI. That being said, he does want to use Dolly. So he was considering building something with Microsoft Visual Code. They couldn't get it working, and this viewer wanted a tutorial. So it got me thinking, I really left you guys hanging with the OpenAI Playground suggestion, because yeah, anyone can go into their website and start generating text, but what about the images? Which is why I spun up this tool. So think of this like the OpenAI Playground, but it's for Dolly 3 image generation. You input your API key at the top, and I'm gonna show you how to get that in a second. You're gonna choose your image size. We have all three available options. Choose standard or HD. Now, I don't think HD is an option in ChatGPT. I think you're only able to generate standard images. So this might be a benefit to using this tool. And we'll do two examples of each to see how they look. But this was new to me. I didn't even know HD was an example until I looked in the API documentation. And then we have this revised prompt feature. So I'll talk through this in a second. You write your image prompt, hit generate. It's gonna generate one image because that's all they allow you to do with the Dolly 3 API. And then you can save that image to your computer if you like it or generate it again. Now this tool is completely free. It's all client side, which means I don't save anything in my database, okay? I don't save your API key. I don't save your prompts. I don't save your image generations. So if you don't save your image generations yourself, they are lost forever. That is a warning. Everything is on you with this tool. I'm just giving you a playground. It's up to you to use it appropriately. All right, let's walk through a sample image generation. So first I need my API key. For that, we're gonna go to the OpenAI developer platform and you access it at platform.openai.com and hover over the left here and select API keys and you're gonna generate a new API key. Now, if you haven't done this before, you're gonna to have to go to your settings and then billing and then add a payment method or buy credits. Now you'll see by my pending invoice that I've been generating so much text, so much images, and I'm still under the $20 per month that ChatGPT charges. At the end of the video, we're gonna walk through the pricing to see if this is worth it for you. But that is how you get set up. So go to your API keys. We're gonna click create new secret key, call it whatever you want. Let's just say test key, hit create secret key, and copy this text. Back in the image generator, paste in your API key. Remember, I don't save anything. So if you refresh the page, your secret key will be gone. That means either save it in a document yourself, or you can keep regenerating new ones from that OpenAI platform settings page. Either option works. Next, we're gonna choose our image size. Dolly has three image sizes available. We have a square, we have vertical landscape. They always do the width first. And then we have a horizontal image. So let's just do a square. Now we have the option for standard or HD. And when I was looking through the image generation documentation for the API, I didn't even know this was an option. It said by default, images are generated at standard quality, but when using Dolly 3, you can set quality to HD for enhanced detail. Square standard quality images are the fastest to generate. HD images are also more expensive than standard, but so far with my limited testing, there's a huge quality difference. I couldn't even believe it. And unlike Dolly 2, Dolly 3 can only generate one image at a time. I wanted to be able to generate up to four images at a time, but with the API, you can only do one. Dolly 2, you can still do up to 10 at a time, but the Dolly 3 API is only one. I know in ChatGPT it used to be able to generate four, and now you can generate two at a time, but we're restricted with that number of outputs. So I'm gonna select HD, 
Next is this revised prompt toggle. So what is this? This comes from the prompting section of that API documentation. I'm gonna read this whole thing because it's super fascinating. It says, with the release of Dolly 3, the model now takes in the default prompt provided and automatically rewrites it for safety reasons. And to add in more detail, because more detailed prompts generally result in higher quality images. And if you've ever generated images in ChatGPT, we know this to be the case. So this is the prompt I wrote. I wrote, I want a monk fighting ninjas in a mall. And when the image was generated, it took that little prompt and turned it into this really long prompt. This is what they call a revised prompt. And again, they're saying it that they're doing it for safety reasons. They don't want you to generate copyright stuff like celebrity faces, logos, all that good fun stuff. But they also say it adds in more detail because more detailed prompts result in better outputs. Continuing on, it says, while it's not currently possible to disable this feature, you can use prompting to get outputs closer to your requested image by adding the following to your prompt. And it writes, I need, in all capital letters, to test how the tool works with extremely simple prompts. Do not add any detail, just use it as is. So this revised prompt toggle turns on and off this initial prompt in the API call. So you can experiment with this to see if turning off that revised prompt feature gives you an image closer to what you want. I'm giving you full control here. So I'm gonna turn it off for this generation and then you write your image prompt. So let's test this out. I'm gonna type in Spider-Man in a fat suit. Let's hit generate. You're gonna get a spinning icon. You'll see this bar loading at the top. That means it's making the API call. Just takes a few seconds and here we go. This is Spider-Man in a fat suit. So if you want this, you're gonna to have to right click, save image as, and save it to your computer. All right, there you go. Spider-Man in a fat suit, it's an HD image. And you can kind of see that it didn't revise the prompt that much because look, it's just a plain black background. Usually it would say a Spider-Man in a fat suit He's fighting a villain in a city. It would add all this extra stuff. This is just basic. So it does seem to work in some use cases. If I want to run this generation again, I can click the button, I can change the prompt, or just refreshing the page will reset everything back to the start. If you're curious, this is how it was made. It was built with Bubble. We have some simple input boxes, some drop downs, a toggle, a generate button. We have three image sizes waiting to be shown. The square image, this is the horizontal image, and this is the vertical image. This all depends on what you select here. In the background, there's just two workflows. One is if that revised prompt toggle is checked, and one if that toggle is not checked. They're both the same except for one step. So it loads the page, it sets the state of the page. Again, I'm not saving anything in a database. And it runs an API call to Dolly 3. I have it as bearer and then whatever you put in that input box. This is your prompt. This is your image size. And this is the quality that you select. Then I set the state of the page to the result that you get back. That's why it's lost if you refresh the page. And then we set loading to no. When that revised prompt toggle isn't checked, I just add in that text that OpenAI suggested to get image outputs more like your prompt. That's the only difference. Next, we have to talk about pricing. Because this is your API key, you are responsible for the costs of the image generations. I tell you a little bit about the pricing here, but if you go to the openai.com pricing page and scroll down to the Dolly 3 model, you'll see what it all costs. So it costs four cents per image if it's square and a standard resolution. If you bump that up to HD, it's twice the price, it's eight cents. Standard for landscape or vertical is eight cents. If you bump that up to HD, it's 12 cents. So it's an extra four cents to do HD for each of those resolution sizes. Let's bring up the trusty calculator to do some math. Let's say you use this tool to generate 100 images and let's say they were all HD squares, so that's eight cents. It costs you $8 to generate those 100 images. Remember, ChatGPT is $20 per month. 
So if you were only using ChatGPT to generate images and you did about 100 per month, it'd be cheaper to use this tool and your own API key. We also know that using GPT-4 Turbo in the playground is about 3 cents per 1,000 tokens. That's around 750 words. So if I did something like 100,000 words, let's divide that by 750, and we're gonna times that by 0.03, it'd be roughly four bucks. So generating 100,000 words and 100 images using your API key is $12. You're still saving $8 per month, $96 per year, and you can arguably get better outputs. Just some food for thought, the choice is yours. I'm giving you the option. All right, that was the tool walkthrough. This probably exists somewhere else on the web, but I wanted to give you guys a simple UI interface to do this yourself. Here it is. I'm also not sure how secure this is. I talked it through with ChatGPT and it doesn't seem to be a problem. It's all client side facing. I don't store anything. It's an HTTPS website. Bubble handles all the security. So I think you're safe with inputting your API key here. If you're still worried, you can generate all your images in one session, then delete your API key. And when you want to go back to the website, you can create a new secret key again. Or you can go to settings, limits, and set a usage limit on your API key to something like five bucks. So if it was ever exposed, no one could abuse your generations. So we have some safeguards in place. I'm also thinking about making some other custom GPTs on this website. So you can just put in your API key and use it that way. That might work better for those free ChatGPT users. We also have so much more control when I control the workflow. Instead of with a custom GPT, I'm just writing custom instructions and I hope the model follows them. I can do a step-by-step -step process and make sure the model follows it. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll continue to build these tools. They'll all be free with your API key. I'm going to leave a link in the description below on how to access this. Now the URL might change in the future. So if it does, keep checking back to this video. I'll keep an updated link here. I might get an actual website instead of using the bubble apps. And yeah, that's it for now. Let's end on another generation. I'm in a superhero mood today. Let's see the Hulk if he was really skinny. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video.